Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use contact posters with the iPhone 15 or older using iOS 17. Let's get started. All right, so for those of you who don't know what contact photos are, this is pretty much what it is right here. And it's going to give you this sort of photo that's much bigger, brighter, more interactive whenever you receive a phone call. And you can create and customize these for all of your contacts on your phone. So anytime they call you, you'll see that big popping picture when the phone rings. Now setting up the contact posters on your iPhone is extremely simple. It's all done through your contacts app or you can access it on the phone app in the contact section here. So these are your contacts and you'll see your card right there at the top. So if you wanna learn how to set up your contact card, you can do it right here. So we'll tap on my card and it'll show you the card, how I have it set up. This is my previous photo that I had with my Memoji and I can customize this completely just by tapping on edit and then tapping edit again. Now this page allows you to see this custom contact card, which is just using these two abbreviated letters. You can also swipe left and create a brand new card here as well. So let's just work with the one that's here. We'll tap customize and then we'll go over creating a new one in a bit. So we have contact photo, which is this, and we have poster, which is here. So let's create the contact poster. And by default, it looks like this. It's giving you an example of what it'll look like when the phone rings. So we can choose to have our background with a camera. And if we tap on that, it'll pop up with your camera. You can use your rear facing camera. You can flip it to the front, whatever you'd like to do. You also can choose from photos and it'll pull up your photo stream here. You can choose from any of your photos. If you have photos of your friends or yourself or anything like that, you can choose right there. The other option is to use Memojis, which are fun. I prefer this option just for this example here. And you're just gonna go through all the emojis that are already there. I already created mine a while ago. If you've never created a Memoji before, you can tap the plus here and go through that whole Memoji creation center there. But we're gonna use a Memoji for this just to give you an example. So I'm gonna choose my Memoji and I can select from all these different sort of options here. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. We'll say next and it'll pop up like this. Now, if you chose a photo for this background here, you can actually crop it just by pinching in and out like this. I'll show you that a little bit later, but you can also change the emoji down there, or emoji if you don't like it. And then this right here is depth effect. So if you chose a photo that had say portrait mode attached, you can change that background blur to turn it off or to have it on. But for this right here, we've got our photo. We can tap this little circle here and change sort of the background. Right now it's that pink look, but if we wanted blue, black, we could even use the slider to make a little change like that. You have a color wheel right here. You can choose from all the different sliders, spectrum and a grid, but I'm good with the gray here. So we're gonna work with that. And then when you're ready, you can tap on your name right here. And what you can do here is play around with the fonts. Very similar to setting up the wallpapers with the iPhone. And you can choose your font. You can see how the font changes here. Again, you can choose the thickness and you can change the color. So let's go with a red. So I'm gonna bring this all the way there. And we're gonna stick with that and make this a little bit smaller like that. And for this Memoji, unfortunately, because this one's this big, we can't really play around with it. So it is covering the letters. I would probably change this, but just for this example, you can see how it looks. So we'll tap done and that's how it's going to look right there. It says Daniel D and I can change the name because I probably pull the D out of there. I don't know why my setup is Daniel D, but anyway, that's a different section. We'll tap continue. And now it's gonna pop up with the contact photo. Now you can choose right here to crop it. Cropping is just as simple as tapping on crop and then you can use two fingers to crop and kind of set it up exactly the way you want. So let's say I wanted it like that. I can choose it. You can also choose a different background if you'd like. I'm gonna leave this one the way it is and tap done. But you can choose a different photo if you wanted something different for the contact photo. And again, you have all of these options here. You can even choose emojis if you'd like. So you can have a specific emoji right there. You can choose those two abbreviated letters if you want, or you can just go back and choose a different Memoji if you wanted to choose something a little bit different. So for example, let's say I wanted that one, I can have that there instead. So I'll tap next, that's my contact photo and we'll tap continue. 
So now just to give you an example, this is how it's going to look. I just tap edit. Anytime I call someone, you'll see this will pop up on their screen as long as they have iOS 17 or later on their iPhone 15 or older, you'll see that. So that's how you set up your contact card. Now, if I removed that D, remember I said that was an issue, you'll see right here when I tap edit, the D is not there anymore. Tap done when you're done. And that's my contact photo and my contact poster for my contact card. Moving back over to our contact section, let's say you were adding a brand new contact, you can tap that plus up there and you would see the new contact option appear. The section you would wanna play with is the add photo here. So let's just add a name. Let's say the name was Wallace. I don't even know why I thought of that name. Anyway, we'll add a photo. We'll choose an actual photo this time from photos. So that one, for example, now you can see we have pinch to crop. So we can zoom in, zoom out if we like. So let's just say we wanted it like that. We can change the photo here and we can actually swipe between different background modes here. So we have seamless background, mono, you can see overprint, studio, and black and white. There's a few here that you can play with and swipe across to change it to make it how you want. So let's just say we wanted this one right here and let's change that background here to orange if we wanted. And this option again, the depth effect doesn't apply. We'll tap on his name here again, and we can use all of these options to change how it's going to look, the color. So let's grab this orange right here. Tap done when we're done. And now we can preview our poster. This is how it'll look anytime Wallace calls me. Tap continue. We can change the crop here again. So if we tap crop, we can change it right there. So choose, and we can choose our background. Let's say we wanted it to be sort of like a black and white look. Change the photo if you want, and then tap continue when you're done. Add in all the remaining information for that new contact, and then tap done when you're finished. So now we've created the contact card, contact photo, and poster for Wallace here on the iPhone. This one's actually the iPhone 14, but uh, if you had like a notched iPhone, it would look a bit different, but still works the same way. But that's pretty much it. That's how you create a contact poster with a photo or an emoji or emoji on your iPhone with iOS 17. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out. And if you did enjoy this video or liked it, hit that like button. It helps me out, helps others find the channel as well. And subscribe with the bell notification box so you'll be notified when I post new videos. A whole series on the iPhone 15 and Apple Watch is coming up very shortly. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.